Getting sick of playing Bloomington? <laughs> uh, very sick of playing Bloomington, yeah. Um, obviously, we play them a ton here, and it's crucial we can try and hopefully get as many points as we can against them. We had a hiccup, obviously, on Sunday, but came back with a good, strong comeback effort on Tuesday, and hopefully we'll just keep building on that and you know, pick up the points we need against them. Do you guys kind of at all treat this like a playoff series almost just because you're playing the same team so much in so many consecutive games? Well, that's exactly how we're looking at it right now. I mean, we played, I think, five times in, uh, out of our, our last six, I think it is, looking at it, you know, you want to win at least three out of five to, you know, wins you obviously the upper hand. But we're looking at it as, you know, points that te other teams haven't been give given a giving to Bloomington. They've been be Every other team has been beating Bloomington pretty handily, and obviously they've They've had our number this year. We've this is one of the few teams we've really struggled to to establish ourselves against. And uh, you know we're just we're, we're working on it every day to try and figure out a solution. Because I mean, as you said, we play them a ton. Yeah. What defi deficiencies do they expose from you guys? Uh, they're a very patient, patient team, just like us. Uh, they don't like to play a run and gun. They sit back and they trap as well. And I think that poses a lot more problems for us as other teams like to, you know, play run and gun and thrive off turnovers, and that plays into our trap game. So, in a, in a way, we're we're kind of very two similar style teams. But obviously, we, we we have a lot more skill and can open it up. And and when we do against them, sometimes it turns turns bad for us. And then they capitalize on our mistakes and us taking chances. And so, I mean, uh, we have to be very patient with them. And obviously there's going to be a lot of emotion uh, coming onto the ice with what happened to Chalker. How are you guys dealing with that and how will you deal with it? Uh, I mean, you know, Chalk, uh, obviously the leader of this team, he wanted to, you know, go and set an example. He wanted to be that guy to, to, to you know, oh my gosh, you say Avenge Smitty or what happened to, to Smith. Um, you know, we'll see as the game progresses. I, I mean, uh, I got to watch how I say everything, but everything, you know, everything, everything will get taken care of itself. I mean, obviously we're going to play hard against, against him, and we're going to finish our checks. And, and if the time allows, I'm sure, I'm sure somebody will step in there at the right time. And um, you guys are now in second place. Um, it's like I think to Strinky just said, when you're, when you're at the top, the only place you can go is down. Uh, you guys ready to go back up to the top? Oh, yeah, we're re more than ready to go back up. I mean, we feel like we've been doing this dance song and dance with Evansville all year and trading places every couple of weeks. And, you know, hopefully right here down the stretch, we're going to establish ourselves and get that four or five point lead that we had, you know, at Christmas break and take that right into the end of the season. And, I mean, we not only want to finish first in, in our division, but we want to finish first in the league. And we're knocking on both of those doors right now. So we're ready to make that jump.